Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Enchanted Nemesis Tarot. It means charmed, filled with delight, yet hard to conquer. Okay guys, and today we have pick a card. What you're gonna find out today is who your future spouse is, okay? Who will you marry, all right? As long as your energy stays in the path that it is going, your energy will guide you as to which one to pick, okay? And as long as you stay flowing in the same direction or your life's path, it will take you to the one you have picked to be your future spouse, okay? But things can change in row, okay? Because your course of life changes. So let's say we do this and you're living in Virginia, okay? Something happens, you move to another state, okay? This person could be in that other state, but it's a possibility they could be in Virginia because your life paths have changed, okay? So something as simple as that could change your path, okay, into a new direction, okay? So stay tuned, guys, to find out the results. Here's what you're going to find out, though. You're going to find out this person's personality, their characteristics, and their traits, okay? We may even tell, in some cases, what this person is going to look like, okay? And you're going to find out the negative quality of your person. Okay, so we're going to give you a few seconds here to choose which one your energy is feeling. Will it be one, two, three, or four? And the stones that we have up here are Angelite, Snowflake Obsidian over there. I have a piece of jade here with Chrysoprase, Soda Light, and Turquoise. We have a piece of Citrine here and Fluorite. Okay, guys, relax. I hope you've chosen your cards because we are going to begin this reading now. Okay, so we're going to look at number one, guys. If you've chose number one, we are about to tell you who your future spouse is. All right. The first card that we picked up deals with the root chakra, which is telling me that this person is going to be very solid when they come in. Okay, they're going to be very grounded. All right. Safety. They're gonna protect you at all costs, okay? In a hurricane of life, a strong foundation will keep you safe. This person definitely is coming in as grounded, guys, okay? The next card we have is Angelite, okay? And this is support is all around you. This person is going to come in very supportive, very strong, and very grounded. Angelite, okay? They're gonna support you through everything. Okay, guys? We are gonna expose who your person is. And it looks to me like it's the King of Swords on the board, guys. King of Swords is on the board and has entered the building. So guys, the King of Swords could be a politician, a lawyer, a doctor, a judge, anyone who works in government, they could be militant. They're gonna be a charmer and they're gonna be a great direct communicator, okay? Okay, guys, we're going to tell you their features shortly, but we're going to pull from the mermaid deck here, 
and we're gonna give you what the mermaids wanna tell you or spirit wants you to know. That again, to top off what I said, grounded, this person is gonna support you. They're gonna be grounded enough to be able to support you in everything, okay? This could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini coming in, okay, as the King of Swords. They may have an oval or heart-shaped face. Um, they may have some pleasant features. Um, this person may gain weight later on in life. They'll have nice lips, a nice nose. Um, they may have like a cleft chin or dimpled cheeks. Um, but it's your it's their voice that's going to attract you to them. They're going to have a nice voice and a great smile. Okay? Another scenario is they could be very tall. Okay? With longer legs. They could have broad shoulders um, and a high forehead. Um, dark hair, possibly. Their eyes are usually bright. Okay? And shiny, just bright. Okay? Um, or they could have an expressive face where they make a lot of facial expressions while you're talking to them. Um, you know, like, you know, some people, when you're talking, they may frown up or look to the side or squint an eye. You'll know that from this, okay? They'll have a fair complexion and usually a longer nose, okay? So this is three different scenarios of what this person could look like. It could be one of something of each of them or you could catch almost all the features in this person, okay? All right, so we have the next card to pull and it is the door to value, okay? The door to value. And this card is number 31, okay? And I did some numerology here. So three plus one is four. So I take it that this person that's going to take you through that door of value is a number four, okay? They're going to be organized. Um, they could possibly tap into real estate. Um, engineers, they like using their hands, okay? They might be into crafts or something like that. I know they're a very serious person, okay? And also, guys, this person is going to be a life partner if you marry them, okay? They're like seahorses around here. And once they get together and mate, it's for life, okay? It's gonna be a lot of loyalty here and it's gonna be long lasting, okay? That's a number four for you um, as your spouse, okay? The next card we're gonna pull is their negative, negative side, okay? And here we have artificial heart, okay? Artificial heart, guys. Okay, on the negative side, this card to me is someone who, um, they're not ruled by their heart. So they don't follow their heart, they follow their head, okay? Which may not seem so negative, but it is when somebody, when it has to do with emotions. So this person does not show um, emotions when it comes down to love. They don't hurt the way others hurt and show their emotions, okay? So they may not cry. They may just be stern and look at you and you're all tearing up and they're not. It doesn't mean that they don't care about you. They're just going to show you in another way, okay? These different emotions here will come out with a, with a new moon with these people. When there's a new moon, you'll start seeing their stern side and less emotional and seeming like they don't care. But that is not the case, guys, okay? But this is why they have the artificial heart card. Okay, we're going to move to the next one. Okay, guys, we're going towards the next pile here, which is number two. All right. And guys, the message here is compassion, okay? This person is going to come in with a lot of compassion, okay? Um, they're gonna 
resolve all conflicts between the both of you with a lot of compassion. So this person is coming in with compassion, okay? They're going to have a lot of compassion for you and all, okay? All right. So the next card is Christ of Praise. Okay, this is allow, allow yourself to receive this compassion from this person, okay? Allow yourself to receive the compassion coming in. And we are going to expose your person here. And we have pulled the Knight of Swords here, okay? The Knight of Swords is on the board, guys. The Knight of Swords is on the board, okay? And the message that we have from the mermaids and spirit says that this person is going to have a gentle nature. They're going to be very gentle with you, okay? They're going to be very gentle. And they're coming in as the Knight of Swords. Usually the Knight of Swords is into law enforcement. Um, they could be an engineer. They also are a great communicator, okay? They're usually into intellectual occupations and they're very technical, you know, tech, technical. They have a technical expertise, like they could be just a good tech person um, or something like that, okay? Dealing with technical uh, work and computers maybe and stuff like that. They're tech savvy, okay? All right, and this person I think is like the younger version of the King of Swords, okay? Um, and they could come in, um, same features, um, oval, heart-shaped face, pleasant features. Um, they gain weight with age, nice lips, nice nose, cleft or dimples, cheeks or chin, um, a great voice, great smile, tall. They could have be tall, long legs, broad shoulders, high forehead, dark hair, eyes that are bright and shiny, um, or an expressive facial um, space, uh, facial expressions, fair complexion. They could have a long nose, you know, same features pretty much as the King of Swords, but they are younger. Okay, so this person is going to be younger. Um, all right, next card we have here is adjacent possibilities on the board adjacent possibilities and this is well let's do the numerology first okay it's card 24 so four and two is six so it's a number six this person is going to be very adventurous they're going to move very fast they're very swift very energetic bounce all over the place can run play with kids you know no problem they are nurturing and caring okay all right, let's get into this last card. This is their negative trait. Peaceful among thorns, okay? Peaceful among thorns, okay? And this is when they're angry or upset about something, um, they do whatever makes them feel good, okay? And you may say, oh, that sounds positive. But actually, it could be harmful, um, because when you're upset, some people tend to overeat. Some people don't eat at all. You know, those are just some examples of how it could be something that this person does when they're angry or upset, and it may be excessive, okay? Um, this comes out on the half moon for them a lot, this type of, this characteristic, okay? This person is also with the adjacent possibilities. They're also going to um, help you make healthier choices in life. Um, they're gonna show you that you have many options and um, many ways to move forward in life, okay? They're gonna bring you happiness and strength, okay? That Knight of Swords that's coming in as someone's husband out here, okay? Okay, so we're gonna move to pal three, guys. All right, we're gonna see what it unveils here for you guys. All right. 
So this one is the throat chakra, okay? And this person is gonna come in and pull you closer to the truth, okay? They, they want you to speak from your heart. It is the only thing worth listening to. And this person is going to speak to you from their heart. So everything this person says to you, you can believe it. You can trust this person, okay? They are going to speak their truth. They are going to bring you truth, okay? Okay, the next card is Sol Sol Sodalite. <laughs> and guess what it is, guys? Speak your truth, okay? Sodalite, speak your truth, okay? This person is going to bring you closer to the truth, the heart of the matter, cutting through. They're going to do what's necessary to bring you truth. And it could be something that maybe you had been lacking in life. People may have told you lies in the past, things like that. Well, this person is going to be very different, okay? And this person, we're going to unveil the person. It is the Empress, okay, on the board. And remember, there is no gender in Tarot. There is no gender in Tarot. So this could be male or female, okay? So this emperor is usually someone who is self-employed. They're an employer. They're very powerful. They're an authority and they're an important person maybe in your community. They're gonna be very important, okay? They work hard for success and material comfort, okay? That is the empress, okay? So they also like helping people. You will know this person because they wanna help all the time. Okay, if they stop at a light and there's a lady trying to cross the street or a man, they want to help that person. Okay, if they see they're on a cane or something like that, they immediately want to help. Okay, or somebody with a heavy bag, they want to take the bag and pick the bag up and take the bag where it needs to go. They're very creative. They get success from hard work. They usually have a beautiful home. Okay, this person is very affectionate. And you're gonna know this person from their characteristics of being great, graceful, okay? It's when they walk, it's gonna look like they're flying, they're floating, okay? They're very graceful, they're very affectionate. Look how she's holding the unicorn in this picture, okay? Just very affectionate, very caring, and very nurturing, okay? You will know this person from that. And what they're gonna come and help you with from the mermaids and spirits, communication is on the board. This person is going to bring you excellent communication, okay? All right. They're going to come in with an awesome communication. All right, and I know that the Empress is ruled by Venus. So which, whichever sign is ruled by Venus, this could possibly be their sign, okay? I'll tell you that in just a moment. Um, but we're gonna move forward with the next card. Okay, so here we have caring connections on the board, guys. And when I see this card, I feel kindred spirit, soulmate, okay? Energy. Um, so we are going to do the numerology. So four plus one is five, okay? And this person enjoys all pleasures in life. Food, they love great food, great drinks, sex, um, but they are loyal and faithful to their partners. And this is another long-term relationship on the board, okay? This person definitely may be a soulmate here. This may be a soulmate connection. If you guys pick number three, you will find your soul mate, guys. That's a number five, okay? Now we have this last card here. Oh, no, one more thing with this card. Okay, caring connection. So this card also um, is like Somebody, one of you may have a business already, okay? 
um, and you guys may go into business together or a business partner that you already have will become your spouse. Either way, it's going to be a deep bond between the two of you. As I said, kindred spirits, okay? A deep connection, a deep bond, okay? It is love on the board, guys. Love is on the board. This one's serious, okay? Number three. Number three, but on the board, this person is a number five, okay? All right, we're gonna look up their negative quality and it is blinded pain, guys. Blinded pain, okay? You guys see that? Blinded pain is on the board, all right? And this comes out of this person with a crescent moon, okay? As you can see the moon on the side of the card there. Okay, this person shoulders a lot of pain and that's why the shoulders are clear in this photo, okay? It's not so much up here, it's they shoulder, they show on the shoulders to accent that they carry a lot, okay? And they close their eyes and that's why the picture, our eyes are closed. They close their eyes to their own wounds. So these people will suffer just to see somebody else happy, okay? This is the Empress. They will suffer in silence just to see someone else happy. So this person is a pleaser and they're always going to put you first, okay? Even if it hurts them, okay? Even if it hurts them, okay? They are going to please you as a spouse should, as a spouse should. This is a wonderful connection, number three. Okay, we're gonna get to the next one, number four, guys. Number four, the first card we pulled is the third eye. So this person is coming in to open you up to see things more clearly, okay? The card says, destiny, follow your instincts. It will lead you to the truth. And when you open your third eye, that's pretty much what it is truth is revealed you are starting to see things for what they are okay next card revealed is citrine okay bring in the light bring in the light so that you may see everything you need to see okay this person is going to help you see things more clearly and then we're going to expose who this person is they are the nine of pentacles the Nine of Pentacles is on the board, guys. Okay? And with this Nine of Pentacles, this is kind of like Earth energy. So we're, I'm getting Virgo. It's Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Okay? This person will probably be self-employed. Okay? Um... They're going to be very concerned about the environment. Um, they'll be very beautiful or handsome. And you're going to know this person because they're going to be a super animal lover. Okay? They're going to love animals. Okay? And I'll tell you some of the features of this Nine of Pentacles. Okay? First of all, there's going to be a lot of beauty here. Okay. They're going to be average height to maybe small, really tiny. They're going to have deep set eyes, guys. Um, and they're going to be serious. Um, their teeth. It's going to be something about their teeth. I'm not going to say they're going to be really beautiful. And I'm not going to say they're going to be really bad. But it could be like a little imperfection in the tooth, a chip or twist on the tooth. And it's, it may look, it's going to look very sexy to you. It could look sexy to other people as well. I've seen people with an overbite, and sometimes that's sexy, okay? So 
It's gonna be something distinctive about their teeth and they also are gonna look younger than what they are, okay? They're gonna have beautiful lips, square or oval-like face, um, a round nose maybe that turns up at the end, um, or they'll have a really long neck um, that stands out or that's thick, but it's gonna be something like that on them. That's how you're gonna know that this is your person. Okay, next card we have is from the mermaids and spirit, awareness. And what did I say this person is gonna bring to you guys? Third eye, it's gonna make you aware. They are gonna open you up to a lot of things, guys. Okay? They're gonna open you up. All right, next card on the board is the garden and the gate. Okay? The garden and the gate. All right. And what this card means, guys, is abundance. Abundance and prosperity. Okay, it's, it's coming to you from this person. All right, and... Um, this person is going to be very protective of you. Very protective. Um, and they're going to have some insecurities, okay? They're going to have some insecurities. Okay, and this card is 30. So... 30. I just took that as a number three. All right, guys. Okay, so three and zero is three. And um, this is going to be like a happy person, okay? Um, but some people under number three are prone to like depression at times so they have to be around a lot of positivity as you can see in this card the garden and the gate look at that garden look at that beautiful view this is something that's perfect for this type of person um, because they're going to have to be surrounded by beautiful things and um, positive things okay to keep them at a certain mental state okay um they usually pick people in a helping career. So guys, if you're watching this and you are a nurse or an educator or a teacher, this is a this is definitely the person that would be looking for you, okay? Um, and they want you to have patience and understanding, okay, for them. And they're gonna bring you the same. And they're gonna bring you all this beauty, okay? They're gonna bring you something beautiful, guys. Okay, this is a stable person as well. Okay, the nine of nine of pentacles. Um, it they, they love the environment. Um, they're usually self-employed, as I said. Um, they're gonna be beautiful or handsome. And remember, this person is going to love animals. Okay. All right, the last card we have is Calling in the Storm. And I'm gonna explain to you what I think this card means here. And I think it's affiliated with this card as well. So I'm just gonna explain it to you. So Calling the Storm. Sometimes, you see how hard this, whole, this woman is holding this staff here? She has a pretty good grip on that staff. Um, sometimes this person doesn't want to release their grip, okay? It's very tight on the staff, okay? They don't want to release their grip because they think it's about losing their person, okay? So they will give reward you with all this beauty here. But if you see that gate there in the picture, you'll be on the other side of the gate. And they may not want to open that gate and let you out. So I do sense some insecurities coming from this person. Um, so they may say, where are you going? Why do you have to leave at nine? 
it's because they have some insecurities but if you soothe this if you soothe this and pacify this i think things would turn out wonderful this person will be able to give you a lot okay they're going to bring a certain awareness to you okay it's going to be something you need i believe okay all right guys that was the fourth and final person okay as to who you guys will marry. That's all I have, guys. That was, was That's what's on the board. This is what came out. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, comment. And be blessed, guys.